Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming here today. No matter what walk of life you come from, you're an American first here. Doesn't matter whether you're Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, doesn't matter. You're an American first. And our Constitution is the supreme law of the land. The U.S. Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Yes, I own firearms, but the firearm does not define me. I am an American, a dad, a husband, a patriot, a statesman, a constitutionalist, a welder, a fabricator, and more. I value life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The firearm does not control my character. I do. I have owned and used firearms for over 20 years and not one person has been shot or harmed by any of these firearms. The firearm could come with a so-called evil, four grips, pistol grips, clips, magazine scopes, folding or telescoping pop stocks, and even a bayonet, and this firearm does not define who I am and it does not control my actions. I use firearms legally. I'm opposed to having a concealed carry permit, but I have done so so that authorities may know that I have good intentions. In fact, I even support law enforcement and government, as long as it's constitutional. But why should I have to get a permit if I have never committed a violent crime? In principle, is that what we have now considered innocent until proven guilty? Is that I have to get a permit to exercise my rights? If I'm trustworthy enough to own a firearm with one shot, why can't I be trusted with a firearm that holds 20, 30, or is even felt fat? When does the size of magazine or ammo or the way the ammo is fed into the firearm make you a hazard to society? The truth is the firearm doesn't make you a hazard to society. If we have not committed a crime, and we are not a hazard to society, then why are our rights being taken away? When is it okay to take away the rights of law-abiding citizens? Never. It's like taking away driving privileges from responsible drivers when individuals go out and drink and drive. It just makes no sense whatsoever. This is abusive behavior to gun owners, sportsmen, and enthusiasts. These laws are designed to restrict or eliminate our rights and will not be tolerated and would not be tolerated if we identified as anything else. Hey Brown, we do not stand united with your proposed gun control actions. These laws will affect those who legally own firearms and are not dangerous criminals. Shame on you for trying to take away rights of law-abiding citizens. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Follow Kate Brown or step down. As American citizens, I encourage you all to stand up and speak out. As law-abiding citizens, we deserve our rights, and for them to be taken away is unconstitutional and unlawful. The first step is to get registered and go vote. The next step after that is to go meet your representatives and tell them that this is wrong, and that this is unconstitutional, unlawful, and to stop infringing upon our rights. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and God bless America.